what's up it's Daisy welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to another weekly vlog I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long so I just wanted to come on here and give you a little update so first things first we went on our trip to Tulum to celebrate my birthday and a little splash of our anniversary if you haven't watched that video already I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little tag somewhere on the screen so you guys can go ahead and watch that so we had a lovely time on our trip but literally as soon as we got back I got sick I found out that I had COVID we literally got back on a Tuesday evening by one Wednesday morning I started to cough a little bit but I didn't think too much of it because it was just like a little you know like a little cute cough a little <laughs> so I thought I just had like a little scratch in my throat by the end of the day it developed into a grown man cough okay by Thursday morning I woke up I was feeling chills I had a fever I literally could not move I couldn't do anything like I was feeling so so bad my husband stayed home with me on Friday to try to help me feel better and just help me around the house and whatnot he then got COVID, so it was just, it was just a lot, okay? It was literally both of our first times getting COVID, thank God. Luckily for him, he didn't really have it too bad. I think he was probably coughing for like, like four days or so. He probably felt a fever for one day. And honestly, by the end of the week, he was feeling much better. Mine went on into the next week. I was, I was honestly feeling so bad. And honestly, the worst part of it was it's a little tmi but the worst part of it was my nausea okay i had extreme nausea to the point where i literally could not eat anything anytime i ate something i would throw it up i remember i threw up like three times in a row it was so bad like when i tell you guys i was not eating anything i mean i literally lost four pounds in one week it was that bad and even though you know i'm trying to get skinny that is not the way i was trying to get skinny okay so that just completely threw me off my schedule honestly that entire week i was feeling terrible the next week i was coughing a little bit and honestly i'm still coughing like i still had that little pesky cough every now and then i'm definitely a lot better obviously i'm not contagious or anything Whew, that was just definitely a time and a half. So that's pretty much just what's been going on. But as you guys can see, I'm already sitting down in the designated unboxing spot. So you already know what time it is. If you're new here, I normally just open my packages here. So nothing crazy. But yeah, so I have a few packages that I've been saving to open up with you guys. I did take a sneak peek at some of them just to make sure that everything's in the box. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first package is from Target. I have been wanting to try these little viral items that I've been seeing all over TikTok for quite some time. But of course I couldn't find it in my store. So 
I just went ahead and ordered them online. So the first product is the EOS Body Lotion in the scent Vanilla Cashmere. I have actually seen this in store one other time before and I've smelled it already and it smells really good. I just didn't want to buy it at the time because I already had a ton of other lotions that I kind of wanted to just make a dent in and finish before I buy another one. So I finally went ahead and got it. I've been seeing a lot of reviews on this so I'm hoping that it's actually really moisturizing. I really just wanted an everyday body lotion so that I can kind of use the more expensive ones a little bit more sparingly. The next product is the Naterium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. It's supposed to be an oil to gel formula and it's supposed to be super moisturizing which I'm really hoping that it is because my eczema is starting to act up so I really want to get something that's really going to nourish my body. So hopefully this is good. This has been another viral product. And last but not least I got a few more Mighty Patches. I just ran out but I absolutely love these honestly. I wear them outside the house too sometimes but they definitely do get the job done. The next package is from Sephora. They actually took quite some time to send this package and I forgot that I actually bought it so I might go ahead and return it or at least exchange it for a different color. First things first we got some samples so I first got the Drunk Elephant Cream and then I got the Love by Killian Don't Be Shy little perfume sample and then the only product that I got from Sephora is the Dewy Liquid Blush from Rare Beauty. This is actually my first time buying anything from Rare Beauty but I think I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the color because I normally stick with um, orange blushes but this one is in the shade Lucky and it's like kind of like a hot pink color. I think it's really pretty but I feel like it might just be a little bit too much for everyday use so I'm thinking about exchanging it for a shade that's called Joy. Next we have a few pajamas and loungewear from Victoria's Secrets. You guys I love pajamas and loungewear. Listen I am such a homebody so those are the pieces that I love to buy and love to invest my money in. Um, so first things first we got our coupons. If you watched my I don't think it's my last vlog but the vlog like three vlogs ago, something like that. I told you guys basically some ways that you can save money on certain stores. So they gave me a little $20 off a purchase of $50 or more. And then I got 40% off one item. But yeah, so I got two little loungewear sets. This is a t-shirt and a short. I'm not gonna try them on, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a little picture on the screen so you guys can see what they look like. But I got it in like a little purple shade, like a little lilac. And, and then I got it in this cute little baby pink. I'm super excited to wear them. And then I got another modal pajama set. This one is in a dark gray color. And last but not least, I got a little cami and short set. This is a navy blue set and it has like some little, I don't know if I would call it lace detailing, but it has like some little cute detailing on them. This is see-through, so once again, I probably don't, will not try this on, so I'll probably put a picture of it on the screen so you guys can see. Next, I got a package for my mom, just a little subtle bougie -ness. She texted me this product from Chanel and asked me if I wanted it, and I said, absolutely. So they just dropped this new little, here, let me show you the packaging first. They just dropped this new little, um, cuticle oil and I like to get my nails done and I get them done quite often so I thought it would be perfect for me. So it comes in this little pouch. So first I got two samples. This is a mini black mascara and then I think this is a face cream. I'm, not pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a face cream. And then for the star of the show we got the cuticle oil if it'll focus. There we go. So I love this packaging. Honestly, it looks way bigger online than it does in person, but I think it's a perfect size to just pop in your bag. So I think it'll be good. My cuticles are quite crusty right now. So we're gonna go ahead and actually try this to see how it is. So it definitely has that Chanel traditional, you know, mature scent to it. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Okay, so it's like a gel. It's like a lightweight gel consistency. I thought the applicator would be soft, but it's actually a little hard. All right, so let's see what it's talking about. It's basically supposed to just nourish and strengthen your cuticles. Okay, so it starts off as like a little lightweight gel formula and then it turns into a oil once you rub it down. All right, so as you guys can see, it definitely did the trick. I will definitely be popping this into my handbag. Thank you, mom. Next, we have two PR packages. The first one though, I'm actually not gonna open on camera because I think I wanna make a little 
TikTok of me unboxing it. And there's like a little tab on the box. And once you pull it open, obviously you can't close it. So just in case, I'm not gonna open it on screen, but it is a package from Mason Margiela. I am so, so excited. This is the second package that they sent me, honestly. And the first time they sent me the package, girl, I was, I was over the moon. They sent me their little by the fireplace candle. Oh my gosh, I was so, so happy, so grateful. Are you serious? Sorry, you guys, my camera died. But as I was saying, I was just so, so grateful and happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful and happy for all PR packages. I always show my appreciation for anything that I receive, but I just love Mesa Margiela. So it was just so, so exciting. But yeah, so this time they sent me their new fragrance and candle. It's called On A Date. You guys look at the package like, ah look at the package this is the little tab that i'm talking about i kind of i think i might want to rip it for the video i'm not sure yet but i won't show you guys what's inside right now but i'll put something on the screen to show you guys the contents inside but yeah i'm just so happy Ugh. honestly when i received this it truly just made my day so the next pr package is from papier or papier however you pronounce it this is how you spell the name they are a stationery company you guys i love stationery i used to collect little note cards and like letters and stuff like that they have a new collection in collaboration with the Met, so they sent me a few products from it. All right, so first there is a little card. It says from Papier with love. They sent me three products and they came packaged like this, super cute. All right, so first they sent me, ah. All right, so first they sent me some letters, some like little note cards. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so first they sent me like some little note cards. It says a little note on the corner and it says from Daisy. I love that they let you personalize the items. And then this is the back of the note. So pretty, aw, I love this. Okay, and then this is the envelope to put the card in if you're sending them off. And then it has their name just stamped right there. Oh, this is so cute. I love this, oh my gosh. Next we have, oh, this is pretty. Okay, next we have this planner. It says you are evergreen. And then it has my name on it. Oh, I love this. <laughs> and then it says papier and the Met. Oh, this is so nice. And this is perfect too, because I literally am almost done with the current planner that I'm using. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Okay, so it has the first page, just in case any of you guys are interested. The first page has the entire like year at a glance, the years at a glance, has 2023 and 2024. And then it starts off, well, this one starts off with July. Okay, and then this is like a little monthly view. All right, all right, all right. All right, and then they kind of go into depth with the year. It allows you to write your monthly goals, to-do list, important dates, a wish list. I like this. Okay, and then once you get a little further into the planner, it kind of just has like your weekly, your typical like little weekly planner. You can write all of your to-dos and stuff like that. Aw, this is so nice. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least, this little notebook. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love the little gold, um, reflection metallic whatever it's called whatever it is i love it has my name once again the gold foil pretty sure that's what it's called <laughs> and then yeah this one's just a notebook so oh i love this thank you so much papier i hope i'm saying the name right I hope it's Papier or Papier, something like that. But oh my gosh, this is so pretty, I love it. So we are moving on to our last two packages. These are things that I bought for myself. So the first thing, we have a Telfar bag. So as soon as I saw this, I was like immediately, yes, I have been wanting a brown bag. And honestly, I love my Telfar bag that I have. Wait, let me just go ahead and get it to show you guys. All right, so this is the Telfar bag that I'm talking about. You guys have seen this everywhere i'm sure everybody's seen it but this is a specific one i have i have the small one the small black shopping bag i love this bag okay this is the perfect errands bag for me i know some people complain about the straps not being adjustable but it sits perfectly on my hip it's super easy for me to access everything that i need it is the perfect size for me to fit all of my everyday items literally all that i bring is my lip gloss a hand lotion my cards which sometimes i don't even bring my cards because i have apple pay and then my keys which honestly i don't I'm a passenger princess, okay? So most of the time I'm not even bringing keys. So keys if I really need it. And then, and then what else? 
just a hand sanitizer really so i really don't bring a lot of things in my bag so this is honestly the perfect bag for me like honestly i've definitely gotten my cost per wear or whatever people call it definitely got that back and then some so as i said i've been really wanting a brown bag i actually wanted this one in brown but I wasn't able to get my hands on it. So first, it does come with a dust bag. I love when companies include dust bags for the bags and the shoes. It really shows that you just care about your customer. Like you really want me to protect my investment. And I love that for me. But anyways, this is the bag. I love it. It really just gives me that little early 2000s vibe. Honestly, I used to have a coach bag. I'm sure maybe some of you guys have had it too, but it's like a little shoulder bag, you know, and it has the C's all over. Like immediately when I saw that, that's kind of just the vibe this was giving me like early 2000s, I believe. So yeah, I love it. You can definitely see um, that it's great quality. This one actually has some feet on it, which honestly, I don't necessarily care for feet. Like I don't really need it. Like it doesn't bother me. My bags aren't that big anyways for me to need to stand up. I feel like if I had it a bigger bag, like it would be a lot more useful to me, but I mean, it, it's there, so it doesn't bother me. This one does come with an adjustable and detachable strap, so it's basically two bags in one. And it also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it also has a zip, which I really like. The other one just has like a little clasp. But yeah, I am a very happy customer because I just, honestly, I just have so many outfits already planned for this bag, so I am really excited to wear it. Also, I think this is a little, I think this is a little pocket too. I probably won't put nothing in there, but you know, just something extra. I also bought my mom one for Mother's Day, so hopefully she likes it. I got her the medium one though, which is way bigger than this one, but she's more into bigger bags. So yeah, hopefully she likes it. And last but not least, you guys, we have something from Tori Birch. So TikTok normally does influence me, but I don't think it's ever influenced me as much as it did this time, okay? I saw these shoes, pretty sure it was like a Monday, whatever. Saw these shoes on a Monday, Called them up same day, asked them if they had it in stock because the video was already viral by then and I did not know if it'd be in stock. Called them up same day. They had my size, told them to put it on hold. Next day, walked straight into the store and picked up the shoes. It was that serious. You guys, these are the perfect spring, summer shoes, honestly. I have a pair of shoes like this already, but they are torn up, they are worn down. I need to get rid of them. So these are really just a replacement. I see myself wearing so wearing these shoes with so many different outfits, as I said with the Telfar bag, honestly. Oh my gosh, these shoes are beautiful. Let me just show you. Okay, so once again, dust bag. Love that, I love a dust bag. The only thing that would've made this dust bag better is a little Tory Burch logo, you know what I'm saying? Telfar got your beat on that one. But anyways, these are the shoes. <laughs> All right, so these are the shoes, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect summer sandal. I love it. They have it in three colors, or at least what I've seen. They have it in pink and ivory and the black, honestly. Everything in me wants to go back and get the pink and the ivory before it sells out because I just love these shoes. I haven't worn them as you guys can see, but from what I've tried on in the store, they seem to be very comfortable. They are true to size. I'm an eight and a half in women and I got an eight and a half and I just love them, honestly. It has the little Velcro straps right here. I love the gold hardware. I'm such a girl, gold girly. Um, and yeah, I just, there's so many positive things I can say about this, honestly. They low-key kind of look like Chanel's, <laughs> Chanel-y wellies. They kind of look like Dior's. You cannot tell me they don't, honestly. They look so cute. I love them. I'll show you the little Dior and Chanel little um, shoes that look similar to this, honestly. These are just so beautiful. I absolutely love them. And I actually got them for 15% off. You know, I'm the sale queen. So actually, when I was trying to see, first things first, so the post went viral, right? I tried to search them up online, I couldn't find them. Apparently they were only available in store at the time and on Neiman Marcus, but Neiman Marcus had it back ordered or like pre-ordered and you weren't gonna get it until July. Like baby, summer's almost over. I need these shoes now, okay? Spring starts now, I need the shoes now. Went ahead and called up the store, they had them, right? So I went ahead and went online to their website when I was looking to see if the store, if the shoes were in stock on their website and they weren't, but I got the little notification. You know, when you go on like a website and it says, sign up for our emails and get X amount of money off of the item or like X percentage off. So they had 15% off. And honestly, I really didn't think it worked because these are a brand new pair of shoes. Normally like discounts and stuff like that don't work on 
new items for some stores, but the 15% worked for me, okay? I signed up their emails, I got the 15% off code. One thing I will say though, the, st the sales associate was super nice. Oh my gosh, we were chatting it up and honestly, um, I don't know if that's why the code worked because they were like, don't worry, I got you. So I don't know what that I got you meant because I asked if it was gonna work and they're like, I got you. So I don't know if it's gonna be valid on everybody's, but I say definitely try, go ahead and sign up for the email and get your 15% off, especially if you are interested in these lovely shoes. They're so pretty. Oh, I'm just so glad that I got them, honestly. I definitely feel like I'm gonna get my wares out of this shoe. Ooh, my leg got kill me. So that is pretty much it for the unboxing, honestly. I feel like this was my best one yet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So anyways, right now, my husband's actually about to help me set up our patio set. I literally just bought a patio set. I bought some of those little Ikea tiles to put on the ground. I bought some decor and stuff for outside. So we're about to go ahead and set that up. Let me give you guys a little background story as to why we decided to get the patio set now though. So I'm actually working with TJ Maxx, you guys. I am just so happy, so blessed, so grateful to be able to say I'm working with TJ Maxx. Like I love TJ Maxx, love TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, all them, okay? Love, love, love them. I actually, you guys, remember that video? If you remember, um, I told you guys that I had a meeting with a specific company and I couldn't say who it was, but hopefully it went well. It was actually TJ Maxx. So I've worked with them three times already and they just reached out to me to work on two more videos for them. And one of the videos is to set up my patio table, but I didn't have a patio table. So I was like, you know what? Listen, people are calling, I'm answering, okay? And I'm delivering. Let me go ahead and buy a patio table because I really wanna just build this rapport with them. I really wanna just build this great relationship with them. So they need a video, they know who to call on, okay? So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get a patio set. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but in my head, I just feel like it's, it's worth it. And honestly, like we've been wanting to decorate the patio for quite some time now. And I kind of just put it off. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I've been doing or I've done a lot of, um, home decor videos, I kind of put a pause on the home decor for now and I really um, have just shifted to more just lifestyle videos, but this has really just inspired me to get back into my home decor bag, okay? So I got a bunch of nice stuff for the patio, so we're actually actually about to go ahead and decorate that right now. Obviously, I'm gonna be showing you guys the whole process. I'm gonna tell you guys where we got everything from. I'm praying that it comes out good. I literally made a sketch. Um, wait, actually, no, I don't wanna show it to you guys yet because then you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know what it's, look, what it's looking like and I kinda want you guys to just see it as we're building it, but hopefully it comes out good, and if it does, don't worry. I have everything. Everything will be linked down below once you guys actually see it. So yeah, that's what we are going to go ahead and do right now. I'm already just envisioning myself waking up early, going outside on the patio, sitting down with my little cup of tea, drink, reading a book, like outside in the fresh air. Ah, I just, honestly, I'm just so excited for the patio set and so is he. So yeah, so we're about to go ahead and do that right now. Hey guys, so I quickly changed and right now we are at Starbucks. We just came to get something to drink before we start all of our hard work. Yeah. <laughs> It's your boy, I'm yeah, Billy. man. And today <laughs> I am taking part in Beta Sports Blind Dates. Medium ice white chocolate mocha, please. Okay. Medium ice white mocha. Yes. Uh, can I have light ice on that, please? Yeah. And then can I do a um, ice vanilla chai latte, also light ice, please? And what size is that one? Uh, medium, please. And then can I do vanilla sweet cream foam on the top, please? On both or just a chai? Uh, just the chai, please. Okay, and did you want whip on the ice mocha? Yes, please. Okay, anything else? Uh, that's all, thank you. Okay, that'll be the same as the Okay, thank you. <laughs> Medium. <laughs> it's grande. That's, that's too complicated to remember all of those. It's grande. just tall grande. Thank you. Um, thank you. Let me get to the Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I got a grande iced vanilla chai latte with sweet cream foam on top. And then he got a grande ice white mocha. All right, you guys, we're about to go ahead and head on out and get started. So we have our little patio set here. He already built one of the chairs, but we're going to do the rest of them outside. We have our little Ikea tiles that I was telling you guys about. I also got a um, outdoor rug and then a few other things. I got like a little tabletop fireplace and stuff like that. And then let me show you guys what it's looking like outside before we start. 
So this is the space that we're working with. We just need to sweep the floor a little bit. Um, I just recently got this cute little plant from Ikea. And then I pretty much just put it in a different um, planter, put some dirt. And I have some little white rocks that I'm gonna put on top just to, you know, make it look a little bit more finished, I guess. Um, I got that little watering pot from Ikea too. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, you guys, so we just finished and honestly, I love the way it came out. It probably came out way better than I envisioned, honestly. What do you think? How do you like it? Yeah, it came out <laughs> super good. Uh, everything looks really good, um, especially for the size of our patio. Um, I'm super happy about how it came out. Daisy sketched something literally like a couple days ago before we bought everything. She sketched something up that looked just like it. So <laughs> it's crazy to see like what she drew and it just came to life, so yeah. I'm excited about it. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the sketch looked like. All right, so this is what our backyard patio was looking like before. The very bare, and it just had a few random stuff on the side. So I took those out and I drew the little base layer for the tiles. And then I drew all of the other stuff. I drew the patio set, our little rug, which we haven't put up yet, and then our tree. So we're pretty much done with everything. All we need to do is just lay out the outdoor rug and put the tabletop fireplace. We're probably gonna do that tomorrow because it is very late and we're actually super hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner. Um, and then the tiles did not fill up our entire little concrete area that we have here. So we're thinking about maybe putting some rocks or something here to just fill up the space. Um, if you guys have any suggestions be sure to let me know down in the comments i would really appreciate it but for now we're probably just gonna fill it up with some rocks um we were thinking about maybe cutting one of these tiles but it seems like it'll be very difficult to do that since it kind of has to lock in with each other but we'll see tomorrow i'm also gonna go ahead and scotch guard the cushions i bought this little outdoor scotch guard on amazon i will be sure to link everything down below in the description box for anybody who's interested but right now we're about to go ahead and shower and eat some dinner because it's super late as i said and we are hungry if I don't talk to you guys after we're done, I will definitely see you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up, quickly started a load of laundry, and now I'm just waiting on my husband to get back with some breakfast, but I wanted to quickly give you guys my first impressions on the Naterium body wash and the EOS body lotion. So I tried them both last night, and honestly, I can I can definitely see why there's a hype behind both products. So for the body wash, I love the little oil to gel formula that they have. It goes on like an oil, so it feels like kind of slick you know what I'm saying like an oil would but it's not too greasy where you're going to be slipping and sliding in the tub so I like that and then it does lather up so I still feel like I'm getting a nice clean and then once you wash it off it almost feels like you have a like a lightweight body conditioner on so it really helps to just lock in that moisture so once I got out of the shower I felt super moisturized already before I even started to moisturize my skin and then for the EOS body lotion I really like the smell when I put it on my body though it almost smells like there's a little bit of cocoa butter in it for some reason but I still like it um, and then when I pumped it out of the bottle like I thought it was gonna be like a lightweight like a thin lotion but it almost pumped out as like a little light cream like you know what I'm saying like it was a lot more thick than I thought it would be which was nice because I really wanted to have that moisture when I rubbed it on my body though it felt like you know very lightweight but I still felt moisturized it wasn't super greasy at all but you can definitely see that my skin has been moisturized so overall I really do like both products and they're fairly affordable I would say the Naterium body wash is I guess a little bit more expensive than an average like body wash that you would find at Target I think it's like 15 16 dollars but the body lotion was only like seven eight dollars so that's pretty good so yeah I would definitely recommend you check them out if you haven't already but as I was telling you guys I think I'm gonna use the EOS body lotion as like my daytime everyday body lotion I feel like since it has that vanilla scent it will layer perfectly with my perfumes I'm such a gourmand girly so I feel like it'll definitely just it'll pair nicely but as far as my plans for today I'm actually about to go ahead and start editing the vlog a little bit in in the meantime after that we're gonna go outside and finish up the rest of the patio lay the mat down and kind of see how the fireplace works the tabletop fireplace works um you guys probably saw but i was also trying to film the whole entire thing for tiktok as well i didn't get to finish up the video yesterday because it started to get too dark so i'm actually going to just go ahead and pop the clothes back on i they are in the wash though because they were super sweaty so they're in the wash right now once they're done just pop on the same clothes and kind of finish up that video so i'm done with that and so just so everything looks super cohesive you know what i'm saying and then after that we are going to go to tj maxx because um i need to start getting all the things that i need for that little patio table set video um and yeah that's pretty much it as far as right now um depending on how much time we have left we might just throw in some extra things that needs to get done but yeah that's the plans for now Alright you guys, so we are finally done. As you saw, I put the little white stones that I got from Lowe's in the planter. We also set up the little tabletop fireplace. We're gonna come back out here tonight and light it. And then we put the outdoor rug down as well. And honestly, I really, really love how it came out and I'm super excited to just come out here and just lounge and definitely use the fireplace. Right now we're about to head to TJ Maxx to get the things that I need for the patio table and I'll try my best to get you guys some behind the scenes footage if I can.
Hey guys, it is much later in the night. I'm actually about to go to sleep, but I just wanted to come on here quickly to give you guys an update. So we did end up going to TJ Maxx. I'm not sure how much footage I included of that little TJ Maxx trip though, because I didn't really find everything that I was looking for at that location. So I'm probably gonna have to go to another one tomorrow or maybe later on in the week. I did find a few items though, so I'll probably set that up tomorrow just to see what else I'm missing. Thank God my husband was there to help me film because honestly, I just feel like I'm not at that level yet to just pull out tripods in the middle of the store. So I'm so happy that he was there to help me but yeah so that's pretty much it i am about to go to sleep right now so i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is the next day i already showered got ready for the day had my breakfast and did my little morning routine if i seem tired throughout any of this it's because i kind of am i woke up a little bit early today i woke up at 7 30 and i know some of you guys are gonna be like 7 30 like that is that's not that early listen i am a night owl okay i'm trying really hard to become a morning person but I don't know it might just not be for me i'm really trying though and i'm gonna continue trying and i know some of you guys might be like why don't you just lean on that and just use that to your advantage i already do but i don't know i just feel like the lifestyle that i'm trying to achieve like i feel like that version of daisy just wakes up super early and on top of that i like to film my tiktoks during the day just using natural lighting so i feel like that will just help me out a lot more if i wake up earlier i'll just have a lot more time in the day to film those so that's definitely something i'm gonna work on i can definitely wake up at like 8 8 30 but six seven five o'clock that's a little crazy for me ideally i would like to wake up at 6 a.m every day um yeah right now we're at 7 30 so we'll try to add we'll try to wake up a little earlier each week and see how that goes now don't get me wrong if i have somewhere to be if i have something to do and i need to wake up early i will like i, I get my stuff done like i'll handle my responsibilities if i need to but i don't know just on an everyday basis to just to start my regular day <laughs> girl i'd rather stay up super late in the night and get all my work done go to sleep and just you know ease on into the morning and then wake up super early but we are going to try to change that but anyways right now i'm about to go ahead and drink my liquid chlorophyll i also got some new vitamins so i figured i'd show them to you guys all right so this is the liquid chlorophyll that i've been using this one by mary ruth so liquid chlorophyll according to my research is supposed to just detoxify the body it can help with body odor it could help reduce appetite and it could also help clear up your skin which is primarily why i got it i I don't know what's been going on but it's like my skin has just been breaking out a lot recently i did check my flow app and it explains why my skin is breaking out this week but i don't know why it's been breaking out all them other weeks honestly sometimes my skin will be so clear and then out of nowhere it'll just i'll just get a bunch of breakouts honestly i feel like i've been eating pretty good i've been upping my intake of water i wash my sheets daily not daily i wash my sheets weekly um what else I use tretinoin like I feel like I'm doing everything that I could possibly do so I'm really hoping that this will just help boost that a little bit um I've been taking it for a week now and I haven't seen any results yet but I know when it comes to vitamins and supplements it's something that you have to be consistent with so I'm going to continue taking them all right so all I do I just fill up a glass of water and then I add in three drops of the chlorophyll I'm going to go ahead and do this over here because it definitely does stain I also squeeze in a bit of lemon juice to help with the taste and then this is what it looks like I'm sure you guys might have seen people drink it before um, but yeah I'm just now tapping into it the taste isn't crazy it just tastes like what you think chlorophyll would taste like. It tastes very earthy, very green, very grass-like, okay? So I personally don't mind it on its own, but just sometimes I like to add a splash of lemon. And then for the vitamins, I just recently bought the Mary Roots Liquid Multivitamin. According to my research, this is supposed to change your life, okay? This is supposed to give you that 180 you need to transform your life. Apparently, you will be on top of the rooftop cleaning. You will be in the attic reorganizing everything, back in the lawn, cutting the grass one by one, okay? In all seriousness though, this vitamin is supposed to to help with energy, beauty, and immunity. It is a multivitamin, so I feel like it's an easy replacement for the vitamins I'm already taking. But really why I got this specific multivitamin is mostly for the energy. Sometimes I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm groggy throughout the day. I feel like I'm not as energetic as I need to be. Like I'll get a full eight hours of sleep and I'll still wake up feeling blah. I'm sure there are other factors that could be in play as well, but I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. I did my own research on it. So I'm hoping that this will help a little bit. Um, I've already spent my money on both of the products, so I'm definitely gonna be using them until they're finished. <laughs> but um, while I take them for the next few weeks or really until the bottles are done, I will definitely let you guys know if I see any results so that you guys don't have to waste your money on it if this is something you're interested in. And then as far as the flavor, it says raspberry, but it does not taste like raspberry, okay? This tastes like, if you've ever had one of those Flintstone kids vitamins, the hard ones, it tastes like the liquid form of that. I don't really mind the taste. The thing that I 
I don't really like though is the texture. I thought that this would be like a like a liquid, you know, like a liquid cough syrup, like that type of texture, that type of consistency. This is very thick, okay? It's almost like a little gel, like a gel-like consistency. So that was the only thing that kind of threw me off. But other than that, I mean, the taste isn't too bad. I've only been taking it for two days, so I haven't seen any drastic difference, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. But that's pretty much it as far as my plans for today. My number one goal is to pretty much just edit. I wanna edit this vlog. I wanna edit the patio TikTok so I can get that up this week. I have a few emails that I need to respond to. Um, I was gonna go out and run a few errands, but it's just so gloomy and apparently it's supposed to rain and thunderstorm, so I'm just not trying to be outside. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be filming today because as I said, I'm just gonna be editing and sitting at my computer. I might turn on the camera and give you guys some b-roll but other than that i will definitely talk to you guys later one more thing before i start editing i did get a package in the mail from sephora they sent this so quick it's really nothing crazy i think it's just a lip gloss and a mascara okay so first things first we have two samples this is the olay hendrickson peptide boost moisturizer and then this is the Sulwasu um activating serum I actually really love getting the samples. I don't really use them, honestly, until I'm traveling. Like, I feel like these are perfect for travel. I love to just be able to just stick them in my bag, especially like for a quick little weekend trip. And then these are the only two things that I got. I got the new Summer Fridays Pink Sugar Lip Balm. I absolutely love this. It smells so, so good. Um, and they've been out of stock for a while, so I saw it in stock, so I went ahead and got one. You can also get them on Summer Fridays website, but I like to buy everything from Sephora. I just feel like it's a lot more convenient and then you can accumulate your points. And then last but not least, this is a new item I'm trying. This is the YSL Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara in the shade of brown or number two. I don't know if you guys have noticed, maybe you guys have, but you just didn't want to be um, rude and say anything. But every single time I've been putting on my mascara and my lashes, my eyes have been so red, so irritated. The mascara will clump up and just fall in my eyes. And even if I wear a brand new pair of lashes, whatever the case is, my eyes will just get so irritated. I think it might be the mascara that I'm using, so I figured I'd buy a new one. And I've also really been wanting to try a, a brown mascara so i figured i would go ahead and get one so this is what it looks like i really love the packaging it looks so bougie yes love it and then this is what the mascara looks like hopefully you guys can see that i feel like this will be the perfect color to wear on my no makeup makeup days so i'm really excited to try it but yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and get started now and i'll talk to you guys later So I'm still editing right now. It is 5.30. Honestly, the thing that takes the most time when it comes to editing is finding music. Like I honestly wish the music would just come to me because that's really what delays a lot of my videos. Sometimes when I'm free, I'll try to look for a few songs so that when I'm actually in editing mode, it doesn't take me as long. But honestly, this is most definitely the longest and most difficult part, I would say. I'm hoping to finish up soon though so I can move on to another task. Also, I'm trying my best to pick up the camera a lot more and just talk to you guys. Most of the time, I'll just be sitting here talking to myself and I'm like, dang, I could have told the vlog that. So I'm trying my best to just pick up the camera a little bit more. Let me know if you guys like talkative vlogs. Let me know how you feel about that. Hey guys, it is the next day. Right now I'm on the way to the shopping center to go to TJ Maxx. I wanna see if I can find anything else for the patio table setup. I am wearing the same clothes that I did the last, whenever I went to TJ Maxx, um, because they want me to actually film one part of the video in store. So I need to have the same clothes on. So. Don't worry, I showered, the clothes are clean, my hair does look a little bit messy, but it's okay, we move. Before I go to TJ Maxx though, I want to stop at Target to see if I can find a room or linen spray. Um, I know that Casa Luna has a few, so I want to smell them and see if I like any of them. I also want to see if they have any type of citronella candles because I really want to start sitting outside in the patio, but I do not want to have to worry about any mosquitoes, so I'm going to try to see if I can find that. And then I also want to go to Home Goods quickly to see if they have any containers there. I really want to make an ice drawer. I know that everybody's making an ice drawer right now, but little things like that really make me happy. So I feel like that'll definitely be something that'll benefit me. I already have a few ice molds that I bought. So right now I just need to find the containers. So hopefully I'm able to find a couple at least. If not, I'll probably just order them on Amazon.
So I got back about an hour or two ago. I was able to find everything I needed at TJ Maxx, so that's good. At Target, I only ended up getting the citronella candle because the Casa Luna linen spray that they had there, it smelled good. I'm pretty sure it was called Tranquility or maybe it was the Serenity one, um, which was fine. I liked it. But then I found out that they had another one called Clarity and they had the candle for it there. And that one smelled way better. So I was like, you know what? Let me not settle for this one. Let me just go ahead and put it back. And if anything, I'll order it online. And then I didn't end up buying anything at Home Goods because the container they had there were just either way too big or way too small i did also look around the store but i didn't see anything else that i wanted right now i'm about to go ahead and assemble dinner i've already cooked and prepped all the ingredients tonight we are having a greek chicken bowls i found this recipe online and it looked so good so i really wanted to recreate it okay so first we're going to start off with some rice i am just using this little brown rice and quinoa mix that i had next you need some lettuce some tomatoes then we're gonna throw in a little bit of cucumber. And then of course we need our chicken. And then for the sauces, we're using the Trader Joe's roasted garlic hummus and the Trader Joe's tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. This is my first time trying both of them, so hopefully they're good. Ooh, okay, the hummus actually tastes really good. Just a little dollop of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I tried a little bit of this one too and the flavors are definitely flavoring. <laughs> Alrighty, and last but not least, of course we need a little beverage. Tonight I'm trying the Poppy Raspberry Rose. This looks so good, you guys. And I feel like once I mix everything together, it'll really be chef's kiss. Hey guys, it is the next day. Right now it's five o'clock. I did not film all day because I had some work to do. And on top of that, I went ahead and filmed the TJ Maxx video. Yes, you guys, I am in the same clothes. If you noticed, I promise you once this, I promise you, I promise you once today is done, I'm burning these clothes. Like honestly, this was probably one of my favorite shirts. I just recently got it, but I'm tired. Okay, it is tired. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of wearing it. Whew, okay, just allow me, allow me, brother, please, because I just had to wear it one more time for the video. But anyways, I just finished filming. All I need to do now is just the voiceover. Y'all, I was out there in the rain, okay? I really wanted to get this video done today. It's due Friday, today is Wednesday. I just didn't wanna wait until the last day and then that frees up some time for me to get some other stuff done tomorrow. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Obviously, I have a small patio table, so I didn't really have too much room to work with, but I try to make it work, so I put this little um what's this called a little placemat down and these flowers right here for like a little centerpiece on the side i have this little tray um a pitcher and then these two glasses and then right here we have a little chips and dip bowl and then over here i was able to find a little um expandable tray table there so i got that for some extra space and then i found these little um disposable plates and bowls and then this little utensil um carrier this little utensil holder and then finally i was able to find some outdoor pillows which i actually really needed for myself as well so i'm glad i was able to find some cute ones there and yeah that is what we're looking like okay so remember i told you guys i had two videos to film for them so this is the first one i'm gonna play it i don't know if i'll be able to keep the sound in there last time i tried to put a tiktok on youtube um they copyrighted it so i had to take the sound out but anyways if you guys hear the sound you do if not then you know why so this is the All right, so that was the first video. And then this is what this video is looking like so far. I still need to put the voiceover, as I said, and then add some music, but this is pretty much the gist. So we have me shopping in store. And then after that, I get home and then I start to decorate. I'm basically just gonna tell them that my patio table is a little bit small. So I was able to find the foldable tray, like I told you guys. And then I show me decorating it. Mm -hmm. okay 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 and then i put the pillows and then just show a little quick little overview 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then if any of you guys are wondering which editing app I use for my TikToks or my Reels, I use the VN app. Um, I've also used CapCut before too. It works pretty good, but I've been using this one since the start. So just gonna stick with it for now. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully both videos are approved and I won't have to refilm any parts. It's so funny because literally as soon as I'm done filming, it stops raining. Like, look, as you guys can see, I literally have my little umbrella there and that had like some garbage bags and stuff so that I can cover my tripod so it wouldn't get wet. But yeah, of course, it stops raining once i'm done literally every single time i film it's like i just forget to eat i've heard so many content creators say that before i was really looking forward to my lunch today too because i was gonna try these new chicken wraps that i saw but i guess i'll just have to try that tomorrow a good thing is though my husband is on the way so we're gonna go ahead and have dinner as soon as he gets here we're just gonna be having those greek chicken bowls that i showed you guys yesterday they were so good and honestly i think i might have found my new little favorite snack i loved that garlic hummus honestly i ate it with some chips afterwards so good also quickly before I forget so we're thinking about maybe going to Home Depot to see if they'd be able to cut the towels for us I'm pretty sure they'll be able to we have an extra pack of towels that we haven't opened up yet so that would be perfect if we decide to go with that option if not we're also thinking about doing some type of screenings with a little door um, which honestly I'm kind of leaning more towards that because that would definitely help keep out some of these bugs because the bugs are definitely out here okay so we are gonna kind of decide on that and I will just keep you guys updated but anyways I am about to go ahead Ahead and go inside take off these clothes finally go ahead and shower and then by then hopefully he'll be home Hey guys it has been quite some time since i last filmed i actually completely forgot to close out the vlog but i didn't want to just come on here and be like bye so i figured i would take you guys with me today i'm just running a few errands i need to go to the mall to make a few returns and i need to go to lens crafters because honestly i have not been able to wear my glasses recently because they have just been so tight around my ears so i kind of just want to go ahead and get that um fixed so that i'm able to wear them because every single time i wear them it gives me an extreme headache and i just i just can't even bother so we're gonna go ahead and do that um i haven't been out the house in quite some time so i was like you know what let me go ahead and get dressed up a little bit um i just threw some makeup on just put some makeup on just a little bit of concealer and then for my outfit i'm wearing this black bodysuit from abercrombie it's like a boat neck um these jeans are also from abercrombie i'm gonna be throwing on my cdgs today and then my telfar bag and then just everyday accessories and my um jbw watch i'm probably not gonna bring my vlog camera today so i'm just gonna try to get you guys some clips on my iphone my bag is just way too small to fit the vlog camera sometimes i'll carry it with me but i just don't want to do all that today since i'm going to be having some other bags in my hand for the things i need to return so yeah also if i sound low energy at all i'm so sorry honestly it is one o'clock and i have not had anything to eat yet so just need a little something in my system i'm just a little you know a little hungry i just got the glasses fixed and they feel so much better and i don't really like when people play with me like you know in the mirror i'm doing my dance Hey guys, so I just got home not too long ago. I'm about to go ahead and take off my clothes and start cooking dinner. Tonight we are having a chicken salad, so that should be good. Um, but I want to quickly show you guys what I got. So I did get my glasses fixed. Thank God. The guy was like, yeah, that must be giving you a serious headache. And I was like, yes. So got those fixed. Thank God. Um, I also got some of these little pre-moistened towelettes just to clean my glasses. Um, if you wear glasses, you already know, they get dirty very quickly. So I kind of just like to have these um, with me at all times, just pop them in my bag, just find them to be very convenient. Sometimes I use like the little spray in the cloth, but if I'm wearing a smaller bag, that's just a little bit too much to bring. So I like to have these little towelettes. 
and then I also went to Abercrombie I had to do some returns there um I'm pretty sure I told you guys that already but basically I ordered one of their a pair of their little trousers I absolutely love trousers honestly like they're really like a elevated sweatpants like they're just very comfortable but it looks put together you know what I'm saying like I just like that like business casual smart street smart smart street smart smart street style whatever it's called street smart girl smart casual something like that i like that look so i got a pair of these pants um they fit really good and i love their um pants they finally are starting to carry this in the curve love so i went ahead and got one i ordered it in my normal size and it was way too small so i just had to size up so i just went ahead and returned the other one so i got this and i got another color it's the same exact thing just a lighter shade and then i was also going to show you guys a package that i got from target but they delivered it to the wrong house so i had to call them and have them reship it to me but um basically i just got that casa luna spray and i got the same diffuser that matches that scent and then i needed um here i'm trying to show you guys the picture and then i needed another one of my um hair masks so i went ahead and got that too and yeah that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog let me know down in the comments what other videos you guys would like to see from me thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time